That's right, Shepard. I'm here on the Ole Miss campus overlooking Fraternity Row. I talked to a number of students, both Greek and independent, and the general consensus seems to be that there are both advantages and disadvantages to going Greek. Nearly all of the Greek students that I talked to talked about the social networking that comes with being a member of a fraternity or sorority. That network can come in handy down the line when students are looking for jobs or need connections. And while you look around here on campus, that certainly seems to be true. Only about 30% of the campus is Greek, but nearly all of the elected positions, homecoming queen, student body president, etc., seem to go to Greek students. And of course, Greek students mention their friends. Uh, one advisor from one sorority told me that she's still best friends with her sorority sisters from college. Of course, independent students were also quick to point out that they have friends without being Greek. A number of them also mentioned the financial obligations that come with being in a Greek organization. Several of the fraternities and sororities here on campus dues can exceed $1,000 a semester, and some students just don't have the financial resources to commit to that endeavor. Some independents also told me that they don't have the time with their class schedules and other things that they're involved with to devote to the functions that come with being in a Greek organization. Both Greeks and independents were agreed that it's not necessary to be Greek to succeed on this campus. In the end, it just comes down to what's best for each student. I'm Tyler Clements reporting for the Fox Report here on the Ole Miss campus. Back to you in the studio, Shepard.